And so I'll cancel that right now. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. This next button here is document type. And right now it's always set on default. But what what I would suggest you to do is to click on to um, you know like something like a, a general academic or the essay. Okay, I'm going to click on essay here, and watch what it does. It'll go and recalculate it. Okay, now it's not going to change anything that I did because it's pretty much the same, but it does change little things. And the difference is, is like if you do like a creative piece or something like that, it's not gonna, it's gonna ignore some things or it's gonna look closer at, at other things. So many people like to, you know, to change that around because it, 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 it will, um, you know, like try to um, streamline its approach and not look for you know certain errors in in you know like academic documents that it might for a more general um, you know document and it'll you know um, try to look more specifically for others and so on and so I would suggest taking a look for that okay um, the other thing that that you noticed here is that it does uh, have something later on like like for instance if you're doing something where it's a where it's a um a report or a case study or admission letter see these things all have you know like in a report or a case study or a research proposal those things will have like headings and stuff like that and if you if you just have it like on a like for a general thing it'll like pick up all those headings as fragments and and stuff like that and so those are the reasons why you would go ahead and and click this uh the same thing goes you know like like i know if you don't have it as you know like an academic paper or an essay or something like that um some of the documentation stuff you do will get picked up as errors and and other things like that so it's it is worth your while the next thing you'll notice down here is that they they have um this is one of the things that we asked for and that although they they have these in more general categories than what we wanted um that we requested they they still put these in categories so they have contextual spelling they have grammar a punctuation sentence structure and you see you can turn these things on or off and so if you just want to search this document like say you you just want to search it for punctuation or if you want to turn the punctuation off you can so you can like click on this thing and turn that off and screen that out of out of your basic um, you know editing okay and so there's a lot of cool things functions in here that you can use so like for instance if if you're looking at style and a lot of times if you, if you don't know you can style text for checks for potential problems in writing style and helps avoid redundancy or wordiness and this is one of the things that um, style is one of those things where many people look at that um, especially uh, where these are the comments that drive some more advanced writers up the wall because they 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 look at this and they really don't want Grammarly to comment at all on these things, okay? <laughs> because they're like, why are you comment commenting on my word choice? Why are you commenting on this? Why are you commenting on you know like and and so this is something and you see how many how many things are here I mean that's like 19 suggestions okay and see like that are versus which are that that is like over here um, it, Huxley paints many horrific scenes throughout the book that are not so fictional anymore this says that are versus which are you know like like this is something where that is irritating to some people okay and so you know um so if you, you know like if you if you're going through sometimes and you see something like that that might be something where you know like don't do that right away for your instructor but 
you know, like if you go through that um, and you you say, hey, these other things are 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 worthwhile to me, but this one, this one really, you know, I found that I like ignored all of those because they they really didn't, you know, like add any value, and they and they cost me like a lot of time, and I, you know, they really had nothing to do with with improving grammar and usage or anything like that. They didn't va add any value to my to my time, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay, and and so then I go from what was that 19? So I had 43 critical issues to 24. Okay, well now that's going to cut my time going through Grammarly in half. Okay, well not half but close. So you know contextual spelling. Grammar spelling is one of the things that people like about it because they say like contextual spelling is one of the big problems that people have because you know you have um, you know like homonyms and homophones they those sorts of things are are things where people like really mess up now because of uh, spell check you know they'll they'll you'll have words that sound the same but are spelled different and you know people mess up on those things a lot now so and grammar and sentence structure those are big biggies okay and actually punctuation is is a quite a biggie too but style but i give style a chance before you turn it off though is what i would say because that actually does catch some things um for for many people so don't don't just turn that off as of yet okay cuz cuz like this exact same sometimes that's something that'll probably show up in style i think okay okay so we go. here's here's the uh effect effect that's a that's a good thing um you know where where you have word choice and stuff okay Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um, this is one. If you turn pla plagiarism is off here, but those of you I know um, in English 15 we get everyone to run things through Turnitin. Plagiarism. If you turn plagiarism on, this does run it through a plagiarism check. It. I have to say though, this isn't anywhere as advanced as Turnitin. Turnitin does a much more thorough check. But this does initial check, so if you want something to run it through, you could do this. Um, but it it definitely will not be as thorough as as Turnitin, and it it won't check for like student essays stuff like that. Um, but it it will run through some of the stuff online, okay. And then um, uh, vo vocabulary enhancement. Um, this is another one where many people like to turn this one off um, if their skills are already advanced. This is something though where sometimes um, you know developing writers like this one because they think that it it helps them to reconsider. What I would say is just be cautious with the vocabulary enhancement. Some people really like this and some people find it irritating. Don't over rely on any of these um, enhancement devices because just remember it's a it's a computer thing. Um, think about you know um, you know like when often I get writers who use like um, um, like the thesaurus or something like that, those kind of options. And sometimes because they're using those things, their writing sounds kind of false or, or you know, like too um, inflated um, because, you know, they use unnatural words. And so, you know, readers will read it and say, what? are they talking about there because they use words that people don't usually use and that's that's something where vocabulary enhancement sometimes will do that however this is also something where sometimes beginning writers or you know um, people using English as a second language um, you know or English language learners you know like um, international students that sort of thing 
Um, this is something where many times I know when I was, um, you know, um, learning Spanish um, and trying to trying to develop my vocabulary in that. When I was using a certain term and would use would l learn it, I would use it over and over again. And I noticed that that many um, international students and language English language learners will do that. You know, they'll they'll use a term, and once they start using it, they'll use it over and over and over again. And and that's something where you know that that repetition is something that you know once once you have you know like the more global issues um, taken care of, that's something that is you know like um, you know uh, the next step you take a look at to improve your writing is to get that repetition out and to give your vocab you know like your sentences and your language um, some some you know enhancement by diversifying your language use okay